voila she is a mag hero so that move can benefit if you want to cause more damage towards the queen of desert or towards anna for instance titan killer is very simplified depending on what you're looking for if the enemy has higher hp than you it will help in increasing your damage now if you actually just want a percentage of ability to launch an extra attack that is buffed up in percentage when the enemy their hp is lower than half the bar half 50 percent an additional attack will automatically be triggered like the skill attack for instance something similar like that which will give that extra boost that can help in killing an enemy now uh, the point that we're looking at be selective in what you're selecting and why and understand why in the first place next thing is using number four we use number four simply because someone is taking out your enemy too fast and you want something that can help in reducing the damage you take so let's just say there's another tuku attacking our tuku we're using vitality armor so the more she attacks from the other side the enemy tuku the target which is us will receive less damage so that helps in vitality armor Vitality armor is more on the defense side, not on the increase the damage attack side. Next, let's say you're going up against in a battle Rockefeller, and Rockefeller is stunning you, and you have a problem because Tuku is stunned, she cannot attack, and she gets killed. So, what do we do? We will use concentration. Concentration pretty much focuses on the CC control, crowd control effect by giving you an upper chance that your hero will not be stunned and of course it does affect also the other attributes related to cc which is similar to what anna does with her love attack the uh, kiss kiss blessing or whatever she does so that actually increases your uh, resistance to being affected by using concentration next one is hero persist this one you should never use unless you're interested in reducing Tuku's speed. By reducing her speed after the first round, she will attack slower, okay, but she will have more uh, armor and more attack power. Why would we do that? We would do that against the boss battle. We don't want Tuku to cause more damage before a specific round, the first or the second. So this is kind of like slow her down direction. That's why we would use Fearless Persist. Next, going up against the upcoming one, Soul Devourer is for CC heroes. What does that mean? It means pretty much it will help a CC crowd control hero like Rockefeller to actually land the land his attack, which is the stun ability, easier. So we use the Soul Devourer. Soul Devourer pretty much will increase the debuff hit, which is the ability to land the CC or the attribute itself. Next is the Violent Strike, which when the hero casts the skill, 50% chance to trigger another attack, but only once per turn to one enemy. Uh, this is similar to the direction I just want the ability, even if I have to do the battle a couple of times, there's just one extra attack that can cause additional damage. Will we use it with Tuku? Yes, but usually it's not the best in comparison to Rush Offense and Death Gaze. The final one is def defense barrier and you would use that very simply if you want Tuku to cast defense barriers which is shields to everyone in the same lineup number 1, 2 and 3 or number 4, 5 and 6 the two heroes next to her. Tuku does not benefit from defense barrier even if it gives her a barrier of HP at the beginning of the battle so it's more likely you would use master of tactics which will also give her a shield at the beginning of the battle. Uh, other than this, this is kind of the talents and you can click on the talent overview and read the talent in its description, increase by 20% damage, uh, stack up which will help in reducing the damage or titan killer which will help in increasing the damage and so on. I hope now you can understand that concept of how it runs and that would be pretty much looking at different things for the hero. There is only two things remaining and yes, we're trying to cover up everything that can be covered in one video about a hero that's why it's too long so i'm sorry for that it is what it is the next thing you will need actually is to unlock the portrait in the star tech by unlocking the portrait in the star Trek, specifically this one yes tukus tuku we're talking about tuku the pursuit and the triggering of pursuit it can be increased by unlocking it 
So as you can read here, the text Samurai Girl's basic attack has a 15% chance to trigger Pursuit level 1 and can be triggered 5 times. So if you're interested in increasing the Pursuit, follow-up Pursuit, how many attacks she does instead of doing less attacks, you need to unlock the portrait in the star tech. Pretty much that is an additional thing. Next thing you will need to know when it comes to powering up is Galaxy Wanted Layer Superman. Okay. So the more you advance in Faction Wanted, yes, yes, Faction Wanted, the more you will gain more attributes that will benefit the entire Superman faction, and then, of course, since Dooku is part of the Superman, she'll also be benefited. So at the beginning, once you reach a specific uh, Faction Wanted layer, you get the HP increase, and then another HP and attack, and then attack plus effective resistance, and as you carry on, Attack and Broken Armor, Effective Resistance, Damage Immunity and Broken Armor. And then at 350, you'll get Critical Resistance plus 10%. And then at 400, Critical Damage Resistance plus 10%. So the more you advance in Faction Wanted, the more the attributes of your heroes can increase. And automatically, they become stronger just by doing that. These are the attributes we're talking about. So there's still there's still a way to increase it just by advancing in Faction Wanted. The next thing is going to be upgrading the Spirit Link level. Spiritus, Linku. The more you uh, upgrade the level of your hero, just think of it as an upgraded version because it increases the attack and part of the overall power of the hero. No, it does not increase anything specific in the attributes, the armor, the speed, the critical, critical resistance, critical damage, and the list follows up until the end. No, you don't get that. You'll just get the power and the attack, and I think part of the HP also. Speed-wise, critical, and then until force resistance, all of these are attributes that cannot be increased by the Spiritus Link, Spirit Link. Overall, if you want to click on this, the bonus overview, you'll also learn very simply that another way of upgrading and increasing your hero's overall power is by finishing the Union Tech and the, uh, the Union Institute. The more you upgrade in the Union Institute, pretty much. So if you go to the Union Tech and then you search for the Raider, which is the sub-faction that Tuko is under, you'll see that, oh, what, what is this? What is these slots? They actually have different attributes, if you can call them that, that can be increased by leveling them up. You have HP, attack, and then critical damage by percentage, skill damage, critical, armor pierce, physique, which is just HP, and mind, which is just attack. So until you max all of it, the attributes will be very low for the Superman faction overall. And then, next, it shows you actually the heroes that subscribe to the sub-faction Radar, which includes, of course, as you can see here, Cyber Ronin, Darkness, uh, Silas, the Fury Wave, all these heroes that are on the bottom, including Satan, benefit from you actually maxing out the Union Tech for the Radar. Then as you're moving on to the Union Institute, which will come after the Union Tech if you're wise enough, you can increase the attack against different sub-factions, and then you can increase the possibility of not getting stunned or paralyzed or twined, just like Lady Ivy does. And then after that you have how you can actually increase the critical damage resistance directly and the critical resistance. The more you upgrade these lost two, the more Superman faction in, in, uh, in its entirety when it comes to the radar, again I said Superman faction because we're focusing on Superman faction, but all the factions are actually linked here because it's related to the radar sub-faction. By doing that, you will increase all these zeros on the bottom in terms of critical damage and in terms of critical resistance. You will have to do it whether you like it or not because these two actually mat uh, matter in battle and do provide a good powering up buff. Overall, your direction should be to finish up the Union Institute as well, including the Union Tech and the faction wanted to advance in it as time progresses, depending on the faction you're focusing on and want an increase in attributes in it. Keep leveling up and of course, never give up kinda in collecting the relics building up the gyms, upgrading its level, and a cool trick would be to actually remove all the relics from one hero, uh, sorry, remove all the gyms from one hero, 
and add it to a hero that has not been upgraded by using gems and then you can take that hero directly to level 120 and then remove the gems after that so that's one way of doing it and I think one of the examples that you can see for this no gems and at level 105 so if we took Tuku's gems and added them we can take him to level 120 and then remove them directly does it make a difference? Yes, it actually does make a difference in doing that move. At least it gives you and allows you to upgrade directly to a specific level, gain the HP, attack, and HP and attack for that hero, and so on. Overall, this was one of the first videos in the series that looking at a hero from all the different perspectives of building up that hero. And the last thing I will add just so we can cover, have covered it. Adding Sigil pretty much has different levels there is level one level two and level three level one is related to the sigil level itself the star level if we go to the samurai okay and you look at the different sigils how they're looking this is a, a three star level sigil this is a four level sigil this is a five level sigil and this is a six level sigil your direction should be to go after the 6 level sigil because it gives the highest boost of attributes for your heroes. As you can see, attack plus 20, 6, attack plus 10 for 4, and attack plus 4 for 1, which is going to be the excellent. And then you have the legendary, and then you have the mythic, and finally the 6 stars, which is this one. So it kind of treats part of the uh, part of the sigil combined at level one, level two, and level three. So until you actually reach at least the mythic, which is level two, you're pretty much gonna be stuck with level one. And then as soon as you reach it, you will enter into level two. And when you get the six stars, you will enter into level three. The difference, of course, is the attributes. The attributes are stronger, higher. It's like look. And also, the lower you go in the star level for the Sigil, the less attributes it can have. So, this one has two attributes. This one has three attributes. Three attributes, but stronger attributes and a higher percentage of yield. See that? And that would be pretty much looking at Sigil from a holistic perspective of the best Sigil you can give to Tuku. And uh, always try to try, uh, strive to try something new when it comes to different heroes. But don't play with Tuku because pretty much Samurai is one of the best Sigil that matches her. In Flame has failed badly, unfortunately, for her because it actually limits her pursuit and follow up pursuit. Remember always to try to actually recost and advance the recost your equipment and hoping that it actually will increase its attributes let's for the last part of this video try to fix that b ranked by using advanced recost and we're gonna do the first advanced recost we're hoping to keep the skill damage plus seven percent okay so it has went down uh, went up to rank a but we lost the mythic skill s ranked so we have the S and the A. Let's do another recast. Ah, this is better. Critical plus 4% max with S plus category attribute. S plus uh, S damage immunity and A skill damage plus 4.5 and A attack plus 2.5. Now you can save. And the attributes, if you actually are wise enough to remember that Tuku benefits from certain attributes only, which is the critical, critical damage, critical damage resistance, broken armor and attack. You would try to select those and actually try to benefit from that selection. So now we're looking at, of course, there is a difference when it comes to the critical and the critical damage resistance based on our selection. And of course, we lost the skill damage. Now it's down to 53.5, but that is okay. And the skill damage... We can try to recover it by recasting another one of the artifact, one of the equipment, and hoping we can take it actually to ranking S or better attributes. You might want to try this a couple of times until you gain something that looks acceptable like this. And once you see that, it means that your selection sucks and you lost power because one of the attributes actually made a difference. But it doesn't matter because the attribute still is the important thing you're looking at. 
So the critical 93.4, critical resistance 44.4, critical damage 58.5, etc. etc. Now, what would you do if you sucked at recasting like me in this scenario? Because it's by luck, you would try again and hope for the best of the increase. Like this, for instance. Now we increase the attack, 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 and the critical. Now let's look again at what we've got. The critical now, of course, I don't know why it keeps going down, but it is what it is. Is at 19.1.9, and we have an increase in the overall power, which is good. And now we're looking at the S rank of the equipment. Again, this might suck. This might fail. They already have attributes that increase the percentage of the attribute. Critical damage, uh, skill damage plus 6%. You will lose some and gain some. And in hope, we hope that you actually gain something better by doing a couple of recasting. And you never know. Maybe try it a couple of times. Maybe it will work. Mix and match. Critical now is back to 92 Point four and the critical damage resistance is at 94 which is acceptable and the critical resistance is 44.4 so it kind of went down but overall we're looking at something like this by the way one of the reasons it, it goes down because of the other attributes you're looking at the s plus only but there's the b and the b these two if they're actually a ranked or s ranked would be actually better so what do we do also when we keep screwing up like this? We try to recast, normal recast, in hopes of getting something that can fix some of the attributes. If it doesn't after two, three times, like what we're doing, then unfortunately you're stuck with having to wait until you can advance the recast again. And it's very rare that you will get higher than rank A, uh, unless you keep trying a very large amount of recasting. As you can see, they all suck and they're all a downgrade. So do not save it and wait until you have more uh, advanced recast tool, more legendary cost material and more gold and then recast again. Overall, don't try to screw up your attributes like some of the attributes happened in this video. Try to be selective and keep recasting until you get better attributes for the critical, critical resistance and so on. If you screw up and the critical resistance, for instance, went down too much, you're going to have to be patient and try to fix it by recasting, uh, advanced recasting, and so on. I know it didn't go well in terms of recasting the equipment itself, but unfortunately we get what we get. It's not really up to me. We try to do the best selection. It still sucks, unfortunately, and we'll need fixing at some point. All right, guys. So this was the first long, long, very long episode of talking about the hero and all the different attributes. After this directly, you will see the full accumulation of details of Tuku in a small, very nice screenshot. Definitely, I want to thank you for joining, uh, for joining this video and watching it. I wish you a great day ahead and please do leave a like and a comment and subscribe. It does help the channel and farewell until the next hero and have a great day ahead.